This is how we build our seal coating trailers that make us six figures a year. Let's walk you around it. So first things first, we always get a trailer and then we get a tank. This happens to be a 550 gallon, 12 gauge steel seal coating tank. We'll swing around back. We have full agitation here. This is a three to one gear ratio. As you can see, it's on the chain. So one crank will spin the paddles inside three times. So here, this is how we set up all of our spraying systems on our seal coating trailers. Right out of the tank, we have a two inch ball valve. From here, we have some two inch plumbing to this ball valve. This ball valve, if we pull both, gives us the ability to gravity feed two buckets. This is how we start it. You can make an easy six figures a year gravity feeding seal coat two buckets. You do not need all the bells and whistles. This is really for parking lots and we do high volume this way. So here we plumb the here and then this is our strainer basket. In here we have a strainer. The sealer runs through here and then runs through the bottom of the net to the pump. The reason that happens so there's no clogs and things like that, it will strain all the chunks. If there's any chunks in the walls that fall in before it gets to the pump, if you get a clog in the pump, it can lead to an explosion. So here we have an inch and a half um, air diaphragm Nomad pump. So from here we run a surge tank. This will keep a constant flow when you're spraying sealer. It will not pulsate, it will keep constant pressure. From here, we have two valves. We have an inch and a half ball valve that will let us recirculate back to the top of the tank so we can open this up and the sealer will come from the bottom and then shoot to the top. If we keep this closed and open up this, this will swing us around to our hose reel. From our hose reel, we have a 100 feet hose. And then here we have our spraying wand. Let me pop this out. We always keep a spare in the trailer because you never know when you're gonna get a flat. So then we, this is how we spray parking lots, put sealer down on driveways, things like that when we are not bucketing them. This plumbing is what works for us. It does not have to be plumbed the same exact way. People's strainer basket, pumps, the inlets, outlets might be differently on different products. So you might have to get creative with your plumbing, but this is what works for us. So here we'll swing around here. We have this on every trailer. Every trailer we, when we're still good and we have one of these, this is our brush box. This is how we keep our brushes from not drying out. So you can see here, just some water in here with some old sealer this one out and that keeps the brushes from drying out and then we'll swing around here this is a 14 foot trailer we have a little deck on the front we'll strap down a blower a kettle cones things like that so to run the pump this is what runs the pump an air diaphragm pump obviously is ran by air so we have a 20 gallon hydraulic air compressor. At about 100 PSI, this is about a 28 TFM air compressor. So there's constant flow of air for the pumps that our pumps are never bogging out. We have constant, nice, beautiful flow of sealer. Then we'll swing around here. So as you can see here, we actually cut this. This allows us to get blowers and stuff up like this. We have little ramps here. This trailer was originally fully connected. And then here is our air hose that we run to our pump. That when it hooked up, it will run the whole spray system. This is how we build our trailers that make us six figures a year easy. You, we, with this exact trailer, we have made 20, over $20,000 in a week. Only thing you have to do to make $20,000 in a week, essentially, is seal coat over 100,000 square feet, and you should be able to get there. So if you wanna learn more, things how we break down jobs, things like that, price breakdown, branding, marketing, like and subscribe for more, more content on the way.